YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by dank duelists like you. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. And today we're gonna talk about those super heavy samurais. And I know that you guys have been waiting for a video like this, um, especially following that sub -tier video. And I definitely wanna talk about many different decks and I've looked through the comments and I see a lot of great suggestions. But I think something that's really relevant right now due to the release of the new cards and also transcendent game number two is the perfect time to talk about uh what's her name sierra 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 i don't know to talk about this duelist who um, has one of the best skills to play super heavy samurais and then also talk about uh super heavy samurais in general so the skill that we're going to be using with super heavy samurai is defense charge um currently I actually climbed out of platinum with super heavy samurais, but I didn't have defense charge at the time. And this is the deck that I used. Um, I was playing super heavy samurais, pretty similar to, you know, how a lot of people was playing this deck, um, basically going for the OTK factor. But because I didn't have defense charge, I was actually using life charge, which is kind of like defense charge, but it's definitely not the skill you want to use with this deck. I just needed to unlock defense charge and I did unlock defense charge um, with a bunch of other rando skills. So let's talk about uh, Super Heavy Samurais, my boys. Now this is a very interesting deck that I really enjoy. I think that it's actually um, a very competitive deck, but the problem with this deck is I think that it is way too slow. So uh, the too long didn't watch your whole video. I clicked off in the middle or at some point probably right now. Um, yeah, the deck is just a little too slow and it has a lot of weaknesses. It opens itself up to cards like freaking Regeki Break. Like, I can't even lie to you and tell you that Regeki Break did not have an effect on me climbing up the ladder. A lot of people in Platinum for some reason love Regeki Break, and it is a great card. It's a one for one type card, but people love Regeki Break. So, Regeki Break destroys this entire deck unless you can get cards off to negate where Geki breaks effect, but we're not really gonna talk about that right now because I wanna talk about the vein of it, the existence to this deck. Um, other cards as well, cards like Paleozoic Kanadia and Floodgate Trap Hole are definitely cards that ruin this deck completely. Um, and it is very, very, very upsetting to go through your combos and have everything put together and get wrecked by Kanadia or Floodgate or Regeki Break. However, you are actually protected from a lot of different cards. For example, Drowning Mirror Force, because these monsters are attacking in defense position, you can pretty much be able to blow through cards like Drowning Mirror Force, which requires you to be in attack position. And also, we have Super, Super Heavy Samurai Ogre, who can actually destroy back row. So there are options for this deck. This deck can destroy back row. This deck can boost high attacks. This deck can attack directly. This deck can search. So what's the problem with this deck? Too many steps to the win condition. And that's honestly um, my personal opinion. Also, due to having so many steps to the win condition, there is a big problem um, with the Super Heavy Samurai deck as you cannot run um, additional spells and traps in the deck as some of the effects will not work if you have spell and traps in the graveyard. So let me break down, you know, what I did through um, the, the platinum rank and then also uh, some techniques and some tech cards that I've been using to defeat uh, the meta with this deck. So what I really found has been very helpful, I'm using heavy mech support armor. Now, a lot of people might not use this card for many reasons. Number one, it's a UR that can be obtained in pretty much a very old box, July 2017, electric overload. Good Lord, you're not going all the way back to July 2017 to pick up this card and probably not dropping a dream ticket on this. But this card basically allows you to get the powers of the never miss. When this card is equipped to a machine type burst, Basically, this monster cannot be targeted by any cards. 
clearly it's open to vulnerabilities of cosmic cyclone but that really doesn't matter because cosmic cyclone sure can banish this card but if you're equipping it to a card like super heavy samurai stealth ninja you probably got your sushi roll so let's talk a little bit about win conditions in this deck i'm sure you're watching some gameplay on screen and you're seeing those win conditions in action but clearly Super Heavy Samurai Stealth Ninja is the win condition in this deck. This card can attack your opponent's life point directly, just like um, Mass Hero Anki. However, um, with the difference between Mass Hero Anki and this card is because with Sushi Roll and Defense Charge, you can potentially attack in for game on maybe the first or second turn, depending on the type of hand that you have. Now also, um, actually, oof, I actually messed this up a little bit. Um, for my deck list that I'm using, I actually forgot to add in Super Heavy Samurai Soul Horns. Um, this card was actually in this deck, and I think at the time I was only using one, um, one Soul Horn, one mech support armor and then i'm running two of the uh wagons so the reason why you want to make sure you're running soul horns because soul horns is definitely a card that can end the game um, outside of defense charge but it is another card to search which makes it a little bit problematic because it leads into that whole thing of too many steps towards the end game also cosmic cyclone meta definitely opens you up um, but if someone plays Cosmic Cyclone to take out this and you're boosted and super equipped, well, you're probably gonna win anyway. But anyway, let's just talk more about this. So another card that you can use to stop targeting is this card, Super Heavy Samurai Flutus. But in my personal opinion, this card bricks way too much. As I'm using Flutus with this deck, I found that Flutus always gets in the way of many combos. And plus this card can only special summon from the hand, meaning you have to have the resources available to use this card. And honestly, in Super Heavy Samurais, you burn resources very quickly. Now what I found to be very helpful in this deck, I've been using Lava Golem, um, also been running um, uh, Mithra, Mithra is really good in this deck if you're playing Lava Golem because a lot of players like to play one soul monster, especially if you come up against a super heavy samurai mirror match. It really helps out. But in this deck, you have six monsters that you can special summon at will plus Kite Roid. So Lava Golem is just a very strong, logical card you can put in here because something like Super Heavy Samurai Stealth Ninja can put so much damage on your opponent that Lava Golem can pretty much finish them off on the next turn. Now, what I think that's interesting about this deck is there's many cards that you can fit in, but in terms of spell, spells and traps, there's not many, but there is one spell that I really like to use in this deck, and this helps to defeat Floodgates, Kanadia, and anything else that might cause you problem. Fire Formation, Goku. Now, Goku's a really good card because this card stays on your field permanently, and it locks down an opponent's back row. So because it doesn't go to the graveyard, you can complete your combos and go in for game. But the risk is this card being destroyed, going to the graveyard and basically nullifying your entire deck. However, in a Cosmic Cyclone meta, that's not likely. Um, they're probably gonna hit this with Cosmic Cyclone if they have Cosmic Cyclone. But the funny thing about that is if they hit this with Cosmic Cyclone, they're probably gonna win anyway. <laughs> if you if you lock down their back row and this back row's been locked down for two turns and they specifically paid a thousand life points to free up that back row card, it could have been a bluff set invocation or some random uh, spell or trap that you really do not want them to unleash. So honestly, if they hit this with Cosmic just so they can play the face down, you're probably about to get clapped. But nine times out of 10, if you're setting up your stealth ninja combo and you also have super uh, heavy samurai soul horns, soul horns can help you attack for game when you're using this fire formation card. So I typically play um, two or three of these. I did not play it in platinum because in platinum, it just like it's so many maniac duelists, it just wasn't relevant. But when I got to legend, I used this card a lot. Locking down dark magician, locking down pretty much any deck, especially Dark Magician. Um, and also, I wanna talk about this card, Super Heavy Samurai Giga Gloves. This card is a really good card, but the problem with this card is it's a little too slow 
you know, if this card gets uh, smacked and your opponent's doing piercing, you lose pretty much with any card in this entire deck. Um, this card always feels like it's a little too, too little too late, kinda. And I feel like you should run at least two, but running two is definitely Brick City and running one is definitely not enough. I would say the most optimal play is to play this card and also play it with Soul Peacemaker. Because if you use Peacemaker in this card, that way you get both effects off, you get to search, you get to organize. But honestly, I don't think this card is really worth it. I mean, it is a pretty good card. Um, the effect is very strong, but in the end, I just don't think this is a, a powerful enough card. More, It's not consistent enough to bring you victory. I would definitely say Kite Roid is a better replacement. And then also another card you can use to equip is a heavy mech support platform. Now, because I didn't have um, the uh, defense charge skill and I was using life charge, heavy mech support did help get over the hump with that 500 point boost, giving me enough attack points to attack for game. But honestly, I would not use heavy uh, mech support platform if I had heavy mech support armor. And honestly, I wouldn't use heavy mech support platform uh, at all. If I had some better alternative like this card, for example. So this is just kind of a, a, a card that you need to know about, but maybe not a card that you need to use per se. But in terms of super heavy samurais, I really feel like this deck is a strong deck that can really um, go, go hard into ranked PVP. But honestly, I feel like the problem is there's way too many spots open for your opponent to activate back row, which is why I think Goku is the reasonable choice to add at least two or three of these cards into the deck. And in a, in a build like this, you know, I would probably drop cards like honestly, the heavy mech support, I would drop this searcher and then uh, maybe drop even the lava golem or one of these. Like you have to open up for these Gokus and these Gokus really help to extend your plays and open your opponent up for you to attack for game. But I don't know my boys. I've seen a lot of people hitting KOG with this deck, honestly, within the first couple weeks when it first came out. And when decks first come out, I don't think that them hitting KOG in the first week is like a truly, um, truly strong measure of the deck's skill set and the deck's ability. Because in that first week, people are getting used to the deck. Some people are learning the deck. Some people have no idea what it is. And some people are just unprepared. So against Super Heavy Samurai, it's real easy to beat them with a Red Dragon Archfiend. It's, that just kind of is what it is. Um, there are cards that can protect the Super Heavy Samurai from destruction, but you wouldn't run that card because it, as I mentioned before, too many cards that you can chain in between and not enough reasons to play a card that can protect from rando destruction when you can be banished set face down or removed from the field so let me know what you think my boys about super heavy samurais let me know your experience with super heavy samurais and also let me know what type of decks you want me to review in the future but as always my boys keep it dang